addition to reinforcement. Let's keep moving on. Primary reinforcers. Um, let's see. I'm drawing a complaint blank, even though I've got a slide up here. Isn't that great? Anyway, uh, no, here we go. Con uh, unconditioned reinforcers. Basically what we have are, the, uh, we consider these primary reinforcers. Uh, these are the things that you don't need to learn about. Okay, what I mean by that is that they work without any prior experience of the organism. And there's a little bit of a caveat to that. So let's look at some of these things here. So we got food right off the bat. Um, we got water, that's another one that's really good. Sex, and I love my little picture there, I just think it's great. And then warmth, right? So those are really common um, unconditional reinforcers. They're pretty much the standard. But in order for food to be a reinforcer, I said earlier that these things work without any learning or any experience. It's not completely true. The idea is that uh, for food to be a reinforcer, the organism must be deprived of that food. Okay, This should start let, making you think about those motivating operations, right? Um, so to a hungry organism, food is a, a reinforcer. To a thirsty organism, water is a reinforcer. Um, to most organisms, sex is a reinforcer. This one doesn't have to do much with deprivation. Um, it's uh, kind of an interesting reinforcer in that sense. And of course, warmth. Um, just being warm is one of those really primary reinforcing things, getting all wrapped up in a blanket and that type of stuff. So um, again, no experience with those whatsoever. It's just um, just the fact that um, you are a living organism, a person and will make you, will make these reinforcers for you. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna build on these things. So those condition reinforcers are the primary thing that we have. So we're going to build on those by pairing neutral stimuli okay, um, with those primary reinforcers. So neutral stimuli are things that you don't have any experience with, so to speak. So for example, I know this is rather contrived and a bit odd, um, but take a look. Okay, This little post-it note thing here could be a, natu or a, a, a neutral stimulus. In fact, it is to most people. Um, so it doesn't really mean anything. It's not a reinforcer unless we paired this repeatedly with food, or repaired this, or paired this with sex, or associated this with water and association and pairing. I'm using those interchangeably here. Right? So by pairing neutral stimuli with primary reinforcers, you can develop conditioned or secondary reinforcers. Okay? So the neutral stimulus, this becomes a reinforcer, as it says up there, um, is paired with an unconditional stimulus. You guys should recognize this. This is classical conditioning, right? So neutral stimulus is paired with an unconditional stimulus. The unconditional stimulus is your primary reinforcer. So your uh, food, your water, your sex, so on and so forth. Right? Um, and that will develop a conditioned reinforcer. Pretty straightforward. Some really simple examples of conditioned reinforcers over there on, I don't know if it's gonna be on the right or the left of the video, but over here, you got your little clicker, you know, little thing you can use to reinforce animals with. Um, the idea is that the click is not a signal for the animal what to do. The click is a signal when the animal has done something correctly, right? The click is a reinforcer, that's all there is to it, right? And we develop that reinforcer by going click, treat, click, treat, click, treat, okay? Uh, the idea is, is that you use that, um, that, that sound, that neutral stimulus, um, you turn that into a conditioned stimulus, but in reality, that particular conditioned stimulus is a conditioned reinforcer, right? So we turn that conditioned stimulus into a conditioned reinforcer, or that, that, that neutral stimulus becomes a conditioned reinforcer, and that click sound itself will reinforce an animal's behavior because it basically means food, right? Money's the same thing. Money's like the best generalized reinforcer ever. Um, condition, generalized condition reinforcer. Why? Because it gets you all those things. It gets you warmth, it gets you sex, it gets you water, it gets you food, it gets them all, right? So it's been paired with all those things. It's a special sort of reinforcer, and we'll, we'll talk about those here in a minute, uh, why it's a, a special one. Uh, clickers are another thing, or, I'm sorry, we just went through clickers. Photos are another thing that are um, essentially condition reinforcers. Um, this one's a bit tricky to think about, so take a moment and think about it. You know, pause me if you want, but the idea is uh, that how can, or the question is, how can a photo be a conditioned reinforcer? Well, it's pretty simple. Okay. The photo is not the event, right? The photo, okay, is just a neutral stimulus. It so happens that you can remember the event, right? So likely. So if you've got a picture of a group of friends out camping or something like that, then uh, the idea is that the, the unconditioned stimulus, that primary, that, the primary reinforcer, so to speak, is the, the experiences, those feelings that you had. 
um, at the time of the photograph. And you can pair that photograph now with your thoughts, your your actions, and, and your, your feelings, right? Um, so that photo can be a conditioner reinforcer. So uh, pretty cool stuff. And it's been done with other than humans, by the way. So it's a, a pretty robust effect. Um, the backup reinforcers, new term here, these are the ones that are essentially the primary reinforcers. So the neutral stimulus, when we develop that into a condition reinforcer, um, you pair that with the backup reinforcers, right? So, but every once in a while, and we use the term backup because every once in a while you still need to kind of back up your your condition reinforcement with other re with, with some more of those natural reinforcers, right? Um, so you present the condition reinforcement, and then later on occasion you present the backup. So. Once the clicker has turned into a reinforcing thing, you don't have to treat every single time anymore, but you still gotta add treats every now and again. So it's click, treat, and then you do you can use clicker for a day or so, something like that, maybe add a treat the next day, and that, that sort of thing. So, and by the way, you can clicker train husbands too. There's a um, article on it out there if you guys wanna go ahead and find that on the internet. It's out there about uh, clicker training my husband, I think is the title of it, something like that.